Welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I am Ben and we're coming back with another bourbon hunting video. But before we get into it, if you're interested in all things bourbon and not just the hunting videos, consider subscribing to the channel. We're putting out two videos a week, usually reviews, but sometimes flights or topics. And then we're doing a live stream every Wednesday night. So hit the subscribe button if you're interested. That helps us out a ton. So getting into the bourbon hunting, um, I had to go to Maple Grove to run some errands this weekend, and I didn't have a ton of time, but I had enough time to hit three stores, and so I figured, hey, why not uh, get some footage? So the first store I went into was the Total Wine, again, Maple Grove, Minnesota. All right, right off the bat, we got the new 2XO Innkeeper's Blend. That's pretty cool. Got the Angel's Envy store pick for 100 and that bottle of Bell Mead Reserve that I know is gonna haunt me because I still haven't picked one up and I know that they're not making them anymore. So one of these days I'm gonna regret that, I'm sure, but I'll get around to it, hopefully. Got some Calumets here. Uh, the other thing I'm kind of interested in is that first call is kind of a budget line from them, but they're offering a cask strength now, which is pretty cool. And I think they also have like maybe a, a port finish or some sort of wine barrel finish. I'm not sure what, what the other one was. Hang got their standard, um, Total Wine Offerings. A bunch of Old Elks. They've got tons of Old Elk store picks, which is pretty cool. I'd love to explore these a little bit more, but man, they're expensive. So that's a little tough to get into those quite as much. Still a couple of McFarland's Reserves that I haven't tried. That four grain, they have a four grain. I know that for sure. I'd like to get into that at some point. Tons of Wolcott. I had that once and was not super impressed with it. But then down on the bottom here, we've got some rare breed for around 45 bucks. And so that's awesome because it used to be 43. So it's only two bucks more than it used to be. But now nine times out of 10, it's, you know, 56 bucks base price. Tons more Wolcott. Apparently they're just really leaning into that. Interested in this one for at some point, this Jepson's Bourbon. This is a store pick. It was cast strength. There wasn't a price on it, but I had to run and ask the guy. All right, there you have it, Total Wine. Uh, decent selection, I was happy to see that rare breed for, what was it, 45 bucks or something like that. Um, that one's become increasingly more expensive around here, but it's getting to be more available again. It was kind of disappeared for a while. Um, super into, uh, interested in trying that Jepson single barrel. Um, the only one of that that Greg and I have had actually from Jepson's is this uh, Storytime Distillery pick, but it is a Jepson's product at cask strength. And so they had that single barrel cast strength. Um, I asked them on a price on that and they said, I believe it was around 52 bucks or something like that. So yeah, they had a bunch of decent stuff there, but kind of the standard, you know, total wine selection, I guess. But yeah, some of those ones have kind of disappeared from shelves are slowly starting to make their way back. And that's cool to see. So, all right, next stop is Costco. So right off the bat, we're doing great. We've got the 1779 for uh, the Woodford Baccarat. It's a little out of my price range, but you know, maybe somebody wants to pick that up. These are all kind of their standard bottles that they offer. They got that Offerman um, Lagavulin, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't had that, but I just like the idea of it, I guess. And then 50 bucks for this Woodford gift set, which is a really good deal. Those are three 375 bottles um, of really good stuff. And then this is just kind of all their ones that they always have on the shelf, the big 175 home wreckers. That was about it for Costco. All right, so Costco, again, had mostly the stuff that they usually have, um, but that Maker's Private Select gift pack is looking pretty good for 50 bucks. And then, um, you know, the Woodford Baccarat, if you're interested in that, I mean, it usually runs 2,000 and they had it for 17 and some change. So it's a little bit out of my price range, but it is a couple hundred bucks cheaper, so. If you're looking for that, I imagine it'll probably be there for a while. So I, I can't imagine they sell a ton of those. So anyway, getting on to the next one, I was able to make a quick stop at a liquor store I hadn't been to yet, but I've been wanting to go to. And this is the uh, High V on Bass Lake Road in Maple Grove. Hey, this is High V on Bass Lake Road in Maple Grove. They've got an average size bourbon shelf, but they had some really good stuff on here. Got the Peerless again. 
showing up. And we've got the double oak rye here for 120, which is, a, I think that's about what it kind of goes for. Um, I had to do a price check on this. That's actually for the single barrel, not the 10 year. So I did look closer. They're not charging 70 bucks for the 10 year. <laughs> So get a little closer, they have an Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, 57 bucks. They have the regular Bernheim, but of course not the barrel proof that I've been looking for for many weeks now. And they've got a decent selection of Old Elk. And if you look over on the right there, they got the, the Cigar Cut. I know that one's kind of sought after, and tons of new riff. And then just some bottle sales here. So cool selection there. Uh, those Old Elk Cigar Cuts, I know those are kind of in high demand right now. Um, it's kind of funny, when I was originally filming that, I didn't actually notice those when I filmed the actual Old Elk selection. Uh, I was actually trying to look at that weird bottle next to it, because I had never seen that before or heard of it, didn't know what it was. And then that's when I actually noticed that uh, Cigar Cut. 135 bucks. I think they usually run around 130 or so, so it's within the, the realm of, you know, decent pricing, I guess. So, at the end of the bourbon hunting day, I don't know if I'd call it hunting, again, just general shopping, because I wasn't really looking for anything crazy, but I did pick one thing up. Let's bring it in here. Bam, I did grab the Maker's Private Select um, gift set here. So, this is cool because uh, they released uh, like a gift set at, I don't know if it's just at Costco, but Makers released a gift set for the last three years. And typically what it was, was a Makers cast strength, a Makers 46 cast strength, and then a, uh, a just a private select for that year as done by Makers Mark. Um, all three seven fives, but these gift packs usually ran like 70, 75 bucks, which at the end of the day, you're getting cast strength Makers Mark and private selects and stuff like that for, you know, you're getting, it comes out to be over a liter so it's not a bad price in general, but with Costco dropping the price on these to 50, then this is just an insane deal. I haven't had the 2020 or the 2021 release, but I have had the 2019 and it's probably my favorite Maker's product I've ever had. Just going by memory. I killed that bottle a couple years ago. So I'm super excited to get into that. And honestly, I would probably pay the 50 bucks just for a 375 of that one uh, because I remember liking it so much. And it's a limited release, so once they're gone, they're gone. But there's a ton of these still left at Costco, and at 50 bucks, I think they're gonna start going quick. So I would certainly total recommend on this one at that price for sure. So anyway, that's kind of it for the bourbon hunting for this last weekend. I'm gonna try to do these once a week if possible, whatever my time and budget will allow. Let's try to at least pick something up if I'm going out bourbon hunting. So anyway, like I said at the beginning, if you guys could throw a subscribe our way, that would help us out a ton. Like and comment. The more of that stuff that we get, the more it actually helps kind of get our channel and videos into the YouTube algorithm. And then we're more likely to show up if somebody searches, you know, Maker's Mark or Bourbon Reviews or, or whatever the case may be. So all those things help. We'd wildly appreciate that. So anyway, thank you for watching. Cheers.